Hello Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading. This reading is for Sun, Moon and Rising Sign Scorpio. Any personal questions, then you will need a personal reading. And you can visit my website, katietarot.com and book your personal reading with me there. So Scorpio, let's see what energies need to come through for you this week. Scorpio. This reading is generally nature, so... Just take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. Scorpio. Scorpio. Sun, moon and rising. Scorpio. Sun, moon and rising. Seven of swords. Six of cups. Two of cups. Okay, some of you are going to be taken away from somebody that you love this week. Alright, so this may be by choice or it may be by necessity. Okay, or you're going to be thinking about a relationship or a situation. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It can be a workplace. It can be something that happened in your past. A connection between you and something that you want or wanted. You're going to be thinking about that. You know, the Seven of Swords can indicate that there's been some pain or there's been some mistrust that's happened here. Some unbalanced energy. But you know it has propelled you forward. It has caused. I feel they're saying to me. There is a catalyst here. That happened. Um, and it, perhaps it wasn't very pleasant. But you got some insight into what happened here. Into the whole situation. Into the truth. There's a genuine energy. That's coming from this situation somehow. You may be reminiscing about this. You may be thinking about this. Also, I'm seeing some genuine progress and friendship and perhaps love coming from this dilemma, coming from this energy of the Seven of Swords, whatever this is for you. Okay, so there's a progression forward. There's a movement here. You're not stuck as far as I can see. Let's pull some more cards. We've got the Four of Wands. That's great because there's harmony. There's things moving. We've got the Devil. Okay, so there is a situation around you. Uh, that has been making you feel trapped, making you feel perhaps that there's, you know, some energy that you want to move on from or you'd rather not be in that situation or with that person or in that dynamic. You may be thinking about that this week. You know, perhaps you want to have more of a balanced energy going on here. Uh, they're showing me that the reciprocation from a person might be in a love relationship isn't there. It's causing you some heartache or in the past this has been the case for you Scorpio. But even though that's there Scorpio with the four of wands, the two of cups energy, there is a feeling of balance and harmony in your home, in your mind, in yourself, in the relationship right now. So you may have already said goodbye to this person. You may have already dealt with this. If you haven't said goodbye, then you've moved on from this and things are improving, which is great. It looks like it's just the beginning of that improvement, though. And you're moving toward more harmony. You're definitely getting along more. Could have been a friend, could have been a co-worker. You know, there still is this underlying energy of the devil coming through here. I feel, though, that it is uh, representing the past for some of you. There's still some remnants here of perhaps some mistrust or some misguided, misplaced energy on someone's part. Do you want to still be involved? Do you still want to be here? Perhaps you need to out of necessity, like I said a bit earlier. That may be the case. But overall, things are balanced enough. There is some pleasure. There is some joy. There is some happiness. There is some balance in this scenario as well. Perhaps that's why it's difficult to recognize and realize there could be some confusion here because you have this element coming in as well. So it could be they're showing me for some people it's going to be you're dealing with a person that can change really quickly. So, you know, really positive, really engaged with you one minute and then, you know, quickly soon after, not so much. Acting like the devil energy, you know, acting not in their best interest, not in your best interest. This seven of swords could be trust, you know. The trust may have not been, you know, it looks like a friendship. 
you're trying to mend it though. It looks like it can be mended. It looks like some of you are along that journey anyway. You're kind of going down that path. And if not, you're mending yourself. You're mending the situation in the best way that you can. I'm going to pull an oracle card. And these are really high vibrational energies that are coming through for you this week. So let's take a look at what makes your heart sing, what brings you joy, the most benefit this week. Let's take a look at that energy. For Scorpio, Scorpio, oh, they're saying to me, you know, you don't want to get trapped in the past. You, with the Six of um, Cups energy, it is balanced, so you are moving past this. So um, I feel that some of you may be at risk, perhaps, of getting um, trapped in the past, repeating circles, repeating dynamics, perhaps. You know, just be aware of that. Let's bring, let's bring that through as a concern. As something that some of you need to be aware of. You don't want to self-sabotage yourself here. Yeah. Alright, Scorpio. High vibrational energy. High vibrational energy for Scorpio. Okay, protected. This is really wonderful. Very apt. You are safe and supported while you change your career. Okay, so this card is focusing on your career, your job, your workplace. So for some of you, that's going to be the case. Where this... Um, where this person is, if it's not a person, then it's a situation, it's a circumstance in your workplace that makes you feel like this energy here, okay? Um, but you're protected, okay? You are guided. You are safe. You are moving in the right direction. Don't feel threatened. Know that you do have peace and harmony internally and externally. This is going to be resolved. Okay, that's what Spirit is saying here. And if it's not in your your career, if it's in your personal life in some way, a friend in your family perhaps, in your home environment, in a love relationship, you know, this energy still stands. You're protected. You are able to go about your business this week. You don't have to worry about this person or this energy interfering with you too much. Even though it's there and I feel that you may be focusing on it, they're also showing me that you can come up out of this energy, whatever it is. Move past it if you haven't already. It's safe for you to do so. Let's take a look at a love relationship energy here. Some romantic cards. Let's see what Spirit has to say around Scorpio. Romance on the romance front for Scorpio this week. Scorpio, let's take a look. Okay, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And that's what I'm seeing here. You're perhaps wanting to go back to how the relationship was previously. Perhaps some, some more um, detrimental things have come in. It's safe to move forward. It's safe to give your relationship another chance. If this is a relationship reading for you, of course, you're going to have to place this energy in your life where it fits. But um, whether it's your career, your home life, your work life, whatever, you're working on you and your workplace, you know, give it another chance or give it your all. See how um, it evolves. Give it another chance. It's okay. You're protected. You can do that this week and moving forward. It's all right. And they're showing me that, you know, from giving it your all, giving it a chance, uh, you know, things might, opportunities might open up for you. There seems to be a large energy that's coming towards you, which is really positive, that's going to come from um, focusing in and kind of dealing with the situation, giving something another chance. And if it's not um, something that you want to give another chance, then Spirit is saying here, it's all right. You know, you're supported in whatever decision that you make. So you'll be okay. Um, so I'll leave the reading there for this week. I hope you guys have a fantastic week ahead and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye for now.